Let's go. Heard you can get food from the Baron's men. Shrine. Passage must be somewhere around here. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. 
how how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought, one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. Useful? How? That's the spirit. We'll work well together. I can see that already. This way. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Hey, where do I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here a dry, if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby, best in Velen. But the horse sons burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting, to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, it becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters.
What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Aye, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all my milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked, but father said we'd do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats, that would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home and explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes. Great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Ugh. Oh! 
missed something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Short, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. A drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on.
You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Harren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren the... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit a likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm well, pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I sh... Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. Watch your tone, Witcher. Remember you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. 
Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron? Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone.
Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, you're... made it to Velen. a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. off. Could find something else, though. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast, and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. 
Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Our friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Thistle. Thistle. Shanana King. So Siri was here. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Curses by the event breed of dedication to the Baron and his Where wife. Get this. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. The spinning top. Gritka's toy. Geralt! Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Script. But I'm not playing. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen.
done poking around? Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. <laughs> 